Hey, what's going on folks? It's Alvin here and uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. This is a, more of a vlog style. So um, of late, I've been having a little bit of trouble with uh, trying to balance, you know, work life balance and creative life versus uh, day job engineering side of the fence balance. So I thought maybe this uh, week I'll just talk about uh, what that's like and uh, maybe you have some tips for me in the comments below maybe you can let me know um, some of your suggestions I want to know specifically from some of you who are creatives uh, as well as um, you also have a full-time job uh, during the day and how do you balance between the two how do you stay motivated how do you stay creative and have a clear kind of mindset to uh, continue to create and uh, uh, still flourish as well during your day job. So um, yeah, so this week it's been a little bit hectic. So I'm actually a um, one of the lead engineers in my team and uh, it's uh, there's a lot of things going on and there's a lot of pressures to get things going and, and solve um, a lot of uh, you know up and across and also internally within the team we need to build a lot of things. So um, with all that said, and uh, I also have a lot of goals and passion for um, doing things um, in the evening when I'm off, um, but I'm just having a really tough time to uh, stay focused on uh, and, and stay creative and have that clear mind and just make music uh, when I can't shut off. So um, yeah, so this is a little bit of a uh, sharing moment, if you will of uh you know the struggles there i'm sure a lot of you go through some of that as well as creatives and many of you are not um full-time musicians perhaps um so yeah let me know in the comments below what are some of your tips and tricks and i'd love to hear from you and see if we can implement some of those ideas um as far as uh, anything else that's happening on this channel looks like uh, there's a big sale with spitfire audio happening so um <laughs> i can see the big spike in um, one of my videos of the Albion one versus Abbey Road one, uh, which one to get video. I guess uh, a lot of you are trying to decide which one uh, might make sense as you want to take advantage of this 40% off or, you know, whatever that big sale is. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I can't believe we're at 455 subscribers, I think, right now. Um, that's wonderful. It uh, means that uh, there's some value and there's some interest in what I'm doing here and sharing my journeys as a um, composer and I guess YouTuber <laughs> uh, trying to uh, you know just share some some joy and, and some of the fun here. Um, I'm a real gear geek here and a uh, little bit of a gear acquisition syndrome so got a lot of stuff and uh, I really want to practice and using it so um, it's it's been a lot of fun so besides the musical side of things and playing with uh, different virtual instruments I've also been playing a lot with the uh, DaVinci Resolve Studio 17 software for editing these videos and color grading and all that kind of stuff so this video that you're probably watching right now is edited albeit I think I'm gonna leave this one pretty raw as a bit of a vlog style um, but yeah, I've been, I've just wanted to say that uh, I'm enjoying a lot the, you know, camera lighting and, and everything else. And uh, maybe that's something that you might be interested in. So leave a comment below as well if you want to see more of um, as a, uh, basically I do everything. <laughs> I make music, I uh, do photography, um, so I, I also edit videos. Do you want to see some of the behind the scenes of, you know, um, how I actually edit with DaVinci Resolve? And I actually have a new uh, speed editor here that I got recently. Um, so as part of getting DaVinci Resolve with the license, you can actually um, get this piece of hardware here uh, for free. Or I think you get the keyboard or you get this little speed editor and you get the, the license for 17 point. Uh, one or two uh, studio as part of the package and so the the reason I got DaVinci Resolve and I actually moved away recently from um, Adobe Premiere is because I didn't want to pay for the ongoing subscription with uh, the Adobe Creative Suite and they kind of 
bait and switch you a little bit where they give you like a first year of uh, with a massive discount or like 40 percent or something like that and then if you're an existing customer you you pay the full price and you um it, it gets pretty expensive if you add it all up throughout the year. So I thought, uh, yeah, I really like DaVinci Resolve. It seems like the software of the future, the user interface just seems more modern and um, the color grading is just amazing on it. Um, although I don't use it to the full extent and the editing just works just fine. And I'm starting to get used to all the different quirks and everything else. And this keyboard is actually pretty fun um, with this little jog dial here and um, some in and out uh, buttons and transition buttons and stuff like that. It actually made my last video edit um, probably the fastest ever. So that actually took like within one night, I was able to shoot that video and then edit it and um, put it all together. So that was like a record for me. So um, yeah, really enjoy that. So if you want to find out more about um, behind the scenes and some recommendations I have for you, maybe it's streaming with um, or sorry, setting up your OBS. Uh, I don't do streaming yet. If you want to set up your OBS uh, to be able to record tutorials, um, set up a camera like this, set up some lighting, and uh, route your microphone, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, let me know if you're interested. But anyway, that was it. So it's just an update for this week and some of the things that are on my mind. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and have fun with uh, all your uh, virtual instruments and that sale with Spitfire. Thanks. Bye.